Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Gavin and I build cool shit. Let's get into the next video. All right, so today is the day after uh, doing the rock lights um, and I am beat. So uh, let's see. So today is Sunday. Last night obviously was Saturday. Well, yesterday morning uh, I caught a flight back home from Florida. So I didn't sleep the entire time on the on the plane or even before leaving to hop on the plane. So uh, to come home. So uh, came home yesterday. Slept like two hours. Two two and a half whatever. Did my thing, did the rock lights, busted all that shit out, uh, or stuff out. And today's the same scenario. Man, I'm tired. I went to sleep at like six o'clock in the morning. I was just so determined to get all this rock light stuff done because I was just so just tired of doing it. I wanted it to be done. Well, so I went to bed at six, six fifteen. It's nine forty-eight. So y'all do the math, whatever, but long story short, your boy is tired. But the grind don't stop, nor does trying to beat somebody else to something that we're gonna do. So uh, I'm heading to my boys over at Twisted Speed and Performance. Sean over there, me and him decided um, we're gonna try to do something. Um, we're not 100% 100% set on exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, we talked about doing frame, making our own frame overlays off a of plasma cutter. Um, or you know fabrication and all that stuff or I got an idea of thinking about doing something along the front bumper of the entrance where the um, in between the fog lights making something there like some kind of custom design with like my logo or something like that on it and just getting it like you know painted or powdered white or or whatever the case be uh, it's kind of up in the air kind of thing so uh, we're pretty much trying to do the whole thing like my whole story behind the build is do something different so this is definitely what we're gonna do so um, I'm heading there now about 11 minutes out and uh, we're gonna see what we can come up with we're gonna brainstorm some ideas and try to do something pretty damn cool uh, with my little design background I guess you would say and Sean's design background I think we'll come out with something pretty badass so uh, we'll catch you guys in a real bit. quick um, Hosting the, the truck meet, car meet, whatever you want to call it, the event here at Twisted Speed Performance as well. I haven't really been promoting on my videos. I mean, not really many people subscribe yet, but the simple factor of, you know, just trying to spread the word. So I'll throw the flyer up like somewhere around here. That way you guys can see it. Uh, screenshot if you're interested or whatever. It's going to be a damn good time. We're going to have a dyno competition, a uh, burnout competition. Got a, pad, a burnout pad and all that stuff already like, poured um, at the shop. Uh, good music, good friends, good vibes, potentially uh, food trucks, um, you know, just overall going to be a damn good time, very family friendly environment going on, um, so if y'all are seeing this before October 14th, or 15th, I'm sorry, October 15th, make sure you guys, uh, you know, come on out, have some, have a good old time and hang out with some good friends. All I'm saying is shoe buddy. Yeah, that works for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be cool. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the wrap-up for that. Um, uh, he's going to design them on this, for the CNC machine um, tonight or whenever and uh, get them processed, get the sheets of metal and aluminum and all that stuff because I'm going to do a polished overlay with the, uh, with the matching uh, powder coat on the, the bottom, the back plating, the back plate. So all that's going to match... Um, It'll match the lift and all that stuff. It's all, I mean, it's all gonna be white. I mean, by the time you are seeing this video, the lift video will already be out. So it'll all be white and then with the polished overlay over top and all that good stuff. So everything ought to be look, they ought to be looking pretty damn cool. Uh, I really wanted to do this because um, many people, they don't, I mean, well, companies don't really make them for, you know, gas car, gas trucks, whatever. And I've asked people, you know, if they make them, and every time, like TSQ or whatever their name is, they don't they don't make them. So um, it's just one of the things I guess I had to kind of just 
I don't know, one off. I don't, I don't really know what you would call that. I guess. In other words, just get it done myself. Have somebody make it my make it for me, or me make it myself, or or something like that. So I just thought it'd just be something cool, something different. Uh, to try to be, you know, kind of stand out between other people and whatnot. Because I know other gas trucks have it, but not many do. So I wanted to be, I wanted to stand out a little bit different, you know, within people. So um, that's it. So now we'll just wait, you know, until the, uh, until the everything's done and all that stuff. And I'm, I'm excited, man. I can't. You guys, wait. you know, want any kind of work or engine work or, or fabrication or whatever done, man? Hit up my guy Sean over at uh, Twisted Speed Performance, man, here in, in Kentucky. They definitely do some badass work and they definitely live up to uh, their name. You know, they've always been known for putting out quality stuff and have some badass fabricators and just put out badass work, man. They're building some some cool ass cars. I didn't really want to film them just because simple factor of, I didn't know, you know, if it was a secret or if the, uh, you know, if the owners of the cars wanted everybody to know and all that type of stuff. So, uh, but yeah, check them out, man, on Instagram. I know they're starting a YouTube channel and all that stuff and I'm pretty sure it'd be Twisted Speed and Performance or whatever. I, I'm pretty sure that's what their channel name is, but yeah so sean and them over there man thank you i appreciate you very much check them out give them a follow on facebook all that Great. stuff i am so excited i cannot wait um i'm heading now to twisted speed performance to get the overlays made for the track bars um and then we'll take it to the house i gotta get my, my graphene coat everything um get all that stuff you know taken care of and let her sit and let her uh cure and have another little layer of protection on it so Cool. That looks pretty cool. That is actually, that turned out actually really cool. Yeah. I dig that. So is this what, on a plasma cutter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Of course, you know how I gotta clean it up. Of course. Shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just printed this out just to hold it up in there. Make sure we're good. The front's what I'm really worried about. These are pretty cool. That's cool. I put my wheels on yesterday yeah. to take it to Jack's wife. Oh yeah, you talk about half a turn. That's all I have is half a turn. What do you mean, see? Dude, my front fender line or, or flare, whatever you call it, the corner of it, yeah. smoked. There ain't really? no paint or anything on it. <laughs> Those do fit? Sweet. All right, so pretty much what we're making now is frame overlays here. 100% uh, custom frame overlays. Front uh, up in the gussets here and behind a little bit of the shock and along that side back there and along the back part of the frame as well. So everything, you, I might just cut these back a little bit on this little line right here. That way you can see everything, but all that good stuff. Pretty sure I'm just gonna cut this out this bump stop bucket out because I'm not going to use it anyways so that's that and then um we're doing it's going to be I might throw the rendering here I might throw the rendering in the video um but it's kind of like a they're using a plasma cutter to cut everything obviously but um it's kind of like a design like a it kind of reminds me a little bit like the Statue of Liberty kind of how it has like the webs and all that stuff. I'll just throw in the rendering here and then you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, but they're knocking that out. Um, that's pretty much that for now. So it's just a waiting game getting that done. All right, guys. Um, so pretty much what we're about to run up to is epic powder coats and epic powder and blasting uh, to pick up my lift kit. It is finally done being powder coated. Um, everything's good to go. So I'm, I'm excited. Hey, come up. Come on. Come on. 
That's all you got right there. He'll make it work. Cool. Cool. Here we go. We're back in action, son. All right, guys. So I got all the lift kit in off the truck and all that good stuff. Uh, it's obviously separated because I'm coating it right now with the uh, graphene coating from Jack's Wax. Y'all seen that on the truck video. So that's same coating. Uh, this is the stuff I haven't done yet. And then you come over here. I just try to put it somewhere where there's no, you know, people don't walk around and dust isn't all, all up in the air and all that stuff. You can already tell it's pretty damn shiny as is. With it ain't even being cured yet and everything. So uh, I made sure to hit everything. Uh, not the inside of the track bars because I'm running the, uh, the lights in there too. So uh, like I said, y'all know how this, if y'all don't know how this stuff is or just found me on the channel, found my channel, whatever, but anytime you put graphene or ceramic coat on windows or whatever you put it on, nothing's going to stick. A sticker won't stick to it or nothing. So uh, if you're going to throw lights inside like your cross member or your track bars, just keep that, keep that noted because um, it ain't going to stick. So uh, let me finish up with this uh, graphene coating on these leftover parts and then everything's done. All right. So here is... Here they are as everything cures. I still gotta get that one shock repainted, but everything else is sitting here curing and uh, getting all the uh, graphene all soaked in and all that good stuff. So this will be protected and water will just fall right off of it. So that's all done. Um, I did some more lighting stuff on the truck. Um, I'll show you guys why not. Um, I made this myself. It was actually really easy to do. Um, when you hit unlock, this is the new startup feature for the entire grill part. Made that. Um, I did the bypass on the mirrors so I can run the, the mirrors at any given time. Doesn't matter the speed. Doesn't matter if the truck's on or off. Um, these mirror lights here. Um, so those run all the time now. It, on the, just on the, the switch, that was the option that comes with the trucks. Um, so that's done. And I did, oh, I did the one thing, the auto start. Uh, like when you're at a stoplight and it turns off, um, I bypassed that too. So um, the right way, or the easier way and the right way, that way it doesn't blow, throw no codes or, or anything like that. So um, without spending up whatever, 150, 100 bucks, 50 to 100 bucks, whatever it is for that bypass kit, you can just do it yourself. Um, there's videos on how to do both of those if you have these trucks on YouTube. I don't remember the guy's name. Um, if I knew it, I would just give him, you know, the shout out or whatever. But uh, that's everything. So we are done for the night. I'm so excited to get everything on, man. I cannot freaking wait. But I won't hold y'all too much longer. If you like what you've seen, uh, I know there's a lot going on in this video. But uh, the end result for this sucker is going to be uh, it's going to be badass. So uh, like I said, hope you guys appreciate. It. Hope you guys liked what you've seen, uh, and I appreciate y'all stopping by. I'll catch y'all on the next one. See you.